So what we're going to do today is look at various ways of either towing a boat or assisting somebody going to windward. And I'm not, these three techniques that I'm going to run through are ones that I use commonly either on lake or on long flat sections of a river. Uh, the first one I'm going to look at is towing. So if we're paddling solo what you can do is double up so there's both of you in one boat and then we're going to tow the other one. Now what I find is that if I take the tow rope from the the boat we're pulling. I want that boat just behind mine and the easiest way I find to do it is to drop the rope, the painter, through the seat, this gap here, and I can take it forward. Now if I was on a river which has got any speed in the current I really do not want to tie this off. So all I would do take this around one of the thwarts and then from the seat I would just put my knee onto the rope. I definitely don't want any form of knot in there because should the boat behind me catch before I can ever get to the release knot I'm going to capsize. I'm going to capsize the same that's holding me against the current. So within current I am never going to use a knot just this system. So, if that's not the case, then I, if I'm on the lake, I'm going to do a releasable knot. Now I've got two choices. I can do a clovitch So there's a clovitch but that's not releasable. So instead of taking the end of the rope through, I'll take a bite of rope through. And that means, under tension, I can pull it and it comes loose. There is a disadvantage. I've got to tie it in the end of the rope. So that's not very efficient. You know, I've, I've got too much rope there. So what I'm now going to do is use a, a highwayman's hitch, which I can tie at any point of the rope. So the rope's coming from the boat, that's the load rope going to the boat. Pass it under my thwart as a bite. What I now do is take hold of the load rope, pull that through, now take hold of the other rope, pull that through the bite, pull everything tight, and that is a high wind hitch. And to release it, Um, here's another method and I would call this a V-assist and in this one instead of having to rig up a tow or uh, move people about in boats all you need to do is bring the boats together nose to nose and each of you paddles on the outside and it goes to windward really nicely in fact it even cuts down the steering for me occasionally it's going to get a little out of true but we'll see that in action Noses back together. Billy sit. Okay, there's it. Could you take my red paint? Uh -huh. I'm just flicking around the front of my face so I don't get the camera here. Hold on. Yeah, that's it. Drop it in front of your fort, in front of the wood. Uh, next one forward. Drop it. Pass it back to me. Go through your handle, I think. 
if I really need to. Alright, if you've got on your side. So, I've taken my painter front of the carrying thwart. I come to the back of this boat. I could go through the end loop rather tight on this boat so what I'll do is I'll go through the wooden handle. Now I want to pull it really tight up there. When the person's in the boat they can assist me and then what I'm going to do is Take this round and over itself. Pull it as tight as I can. And now take it on round. And I'm going to make a clovich with a bite. So that's a bite of rope there. And that is releasable. So that's my system for going up the lake. If I take this further and I wish to make it into a raft for sailing or for a bigger raft, although that's releasable, what I will then do, pull a bit more through and tie two half hitches just so it doesn't release until I want it to release. But generally for the, the assist, I will just have it on the clovich with a bite. <laughs> 